Um, once you sort of have a, an idea of, of what your market need is, um, you, you, you develop the product. And the thing I look for for a product is what I call the, the hook, which is a simple interaction that users will believably engage in. So sometimes I see entrepreneurs who've got this great idea for a market, they, they, they have pointed out some market that's inefficient, but they haven't been able to productize that insight into something that I believe people will actually use. The product is too complicated, it doesn't immediately engage people. And really what you're looking for here is a simple behavior that users will repeatedly engage in. So it could be the tweet, right? It's a simple status update or it's, you know, the, um, the, uh, you push a button and a town car shows up. And, um, and that sort of um, uberfication now, which is the sort of um, creating push button um, interfaces that do one thing, it's, I think it's even more um, sort of important design principle now in, in the age of mobile. Um, you know, the, the problem with designing um, a site that doesn't have a, have a hook is that it's very hard to get users to engage in more complicated behaviors if you can't get them to engage in a simple behavior. Um, and so complexifying your product and adding a whole lot of bells and whistles won't necessarily improve it if there's not like a core behavior um, that, that users are willing to engage in. Now, <clears throat> sometime, sometimes you'll get products that the hook is just explosive. And, and even to the point where the entrepreneurs didn't even know what their market need was. They just built this product. Um, I mean, Twitter was kind of like that where it just took off um, I'm not sure that the, the creators knew exactly they'd be disrupting the news industry or sort of taking that over, um, but they felt like people would use the product. And I think that's um, also a, a very sound way to go that you can sort of, you know, given a choice between a founder who's discovered a market need versus one that has a great product hook, um, I would rather take the product hook, even if it means that they still have to figure out what market they're actually disrupting. Um, and this is why... Um, you know, entrepreneurial types tend not to be the um, super analytical um, sort of, um, it, it, it's not like a, it's not necessarily the McKinsey consultants or the Harvard MBAs who figure out these new markets. It's the more, you know, eclectic, idiosyncratic entrepreneurs who, who figure this stuff out because they're able to actually build a product that, that has a hook and it gets traction, which I think is very frustrating to kind of the, um, the people who would like this process would be more tracked and, and sort of um, analytical, but I think it's, it's worth keeping that in mind.